everybody welcome back to my channel my name's sarah i'm a licensed esthetician which means i do facials for a living i love makeup skincare clothes music art you name it so if any of that sounds interesting to you welcome to my channel thanks for joining us today i'm going to be doing an at home facial so as I said, I do facials for a living and I love it. It's my passion. I love making people feel good about their skin. And let me just tell you, I've got some dark circles. I have got just some dry skin. I've got some hair. Um, we are just going to brighten myself up. We're going to do some extractions as well. So for those of you who love extractions, you're definitely going to see some of these on the nose. Um, so tune in for that. I actually think extraction videos are so gross, but when I'm in person, when I'm doing extractions, it doesn't bother me at all because for me, I'm like, I'm in control of this situation. Like I can cleanse it. I can make it a sterile area. Ugh, but if it's like a video, mm -mm. I cannot watch extraction videos so i think it's really ironic that i'm about to extract my nose on camera but yeah pretty much i'm gonna go through each and every step with you of cleansing exfoliating toning serum all that good stuff so i'm going to show you what i use how i use it and why you might benefit from using it at home as well so let's get started so i'm going to show you guys all the products that i'm going to be using today got some great products from the spa that i work at and i'm so excited um, some of it's from the drugstore, some of it's from my spa, so we're going to get a good mix. Basically, we are going to pre-cleanse with this micellar water. This is going to remove any makeup that was left over, even some leftover mascara. This is also going to help remove any dirt, oil, debris from the skin. I love pre-cleansing because honestly, cleansers will not work at their maximum benefit unless you remove, you know, the makeup and oils off of your face first so we're going to pre-cleanse we're going to cleanse this is a vitamin cleanser we're going to tone we're going to exfoliate we're also going to dermaplane because this is kind of like a light dermaplaning razor this is going to help with the peach fuzz and then we're going to follow up with a nice little mask this is a probiotic mask some serums some eye care some moisturizer and some spf so these are all the products that I'm going to be using and we'll get started. Basically, I just got some hot towels. I put them in this little container, whatever this is, I don't even know. And then basically, I'm just gonna put on my headband so I don't get it all over my hair. And with the pre-cleansing, you are going to want to just grab some of these cotton rounds we like to start with my eyes because i swear like no matter how hard i try the night before to get all my mascara off it just does not come off so this will show you me trying to take off my makeup last night versus kind of like what is still remaining oh that's disgusting i'll show it to you let me focus the camera that is yeah that's not even everything so if i just go with like a dry one to get the res rest of the residue off granted i was out i did some errands i put on some sunscreen this morning but there is still a lot on my eyes and my skin and you guys will be really surprised at um how much the pre-cleanse will get off of your skin even for guys because i have a lot of clients that either work in construction or different things like that or they work in the kitchen and if they were to just implement this micellar water cleansing they would have such clearer skin because it's really just acting as a magnet and pulling out anything that's kind of stuck up in the pores so also, like I said, this is a pre-cleanse. This first is really going to help prep your skin for the actual rest of your skincare steps in the facial. Also, I'm just loving 
her so much. She was at TJ Maxx calling out my name and I bought her a couple weeks ago. So, and then I've just got some other lovely art. Um, my sister did both of these. I did that one and my friend got me that for my birthday because I'm a Leo. So anyways, let's move on to cleansing. So I'm just using a little bit of water. You can get your skin just a little bit damp. And then this is our Cleanse Daily. So it's a really nice vitamin. Let's see here. It's a really nice vitamin infused cleanser. It's really gentle for all types of skin. So I'm literally just going to do one pump. That's all that you need. And I have a little tiny bit of water in my hand. And if your facial wash isn't like sudsing or lathering, that's okay. That doesn't mean that it's not still working. Sudsing is just kind of like a market marketing initiative that certain products have used to make it think that it's working better. But in reality, there's you do not have to have a sudsing for it to work. If you feel like you need a little bit more than one pump like me, go in and then I'm just gonna take it off real quick because honestly I could cleanse myself for like 10 minutes if you just want to do some cleansing cleansing all over say you have a lot of hormonal acne say wherever your acne or different concerns that you have is centered maybe you know on your nose you can sit there and you can cleanse for up to 10 minutes if you want to for the sake of this video i'm just going to remove it so i have like a little nice hot towel and it's not super hot or anything it's more so warm because i don't want to burn my skin but i also want to open up the pores you can also extend your cleanser from your decollete to your neck and your face don't forget about your neck and your chest ladies for anti-aging okay i should say ladies and men and everyone in between so the next step is toning and toning is important because it can be ph balancing it can be very moisturizing hydrating just relieving to the skin I just picked this up the other day it is the mario or mario badescu skincare facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender i've tried the pink one the green one i've never tried the purple one and it was only seven dollars so i had to pick it up and it says replenish the skin with a calming infusion of botanicals and lavender essential water this facial mist delivers a soothing boost of hydration as antioxidant vitamin c combats skin aging and free radicals leaving the skin feel balanced and light the directions are literally to mist on the face as needed so i love it So you do not have to use that much, but it makes me feel so good. It makes me feel so just refreshed and rejuvenated. Oh, I love it. Now we're going to do is exfoliate. This is our Clarity Bamboo Get Clean Exfoliator and it has bamboo powder. So it's really nice and gently exfoliating because if you are someone out there who uses the apricot scrubs or walnut scrubs or different things like that, those scrubs or even microbeads, those can actually be way too abrasive for the skin and cause micro tears in the skin. So we can't really see it. But what that's allowing it to do is be prone to infection, fine lines, wrinkles, premature aging. So you want to make sure that you're getting an exfoliant that is safe to use on the skin. And this one is. It has bamboo powder and it also has some enzymes that are really going to work and help kind of dissolve anything that's up in the pores, slough away any dead skin. Um, I have a lot of dead skin around my chin area and some just like big clogged pores. So pretty much I'm just going to go in and I'm going to dampen my face. This is another hot towel. In the treatment room, I really like to use a lot of steam because the steam really opens up the pores. 
But for the sake of this video, I don't have a steamer. Obviously, that's why it's an at-home facial. So that's why I like to use like kind of a hot towel. So you really don't need much. This is about like a pea size. And we're just going to work it into the skin, especially in the areas of concern that you have. So I have a lot of dry patches down here. Okay, so your skin may get a little bit pink. That's okay. We just don't want any like severe redness or anything like that. And then if your skin needs like a little bit extra exfoliation, if you think that your skin can handle it, you can actually leave the exfoliant on for a couple minutes and let it work and then remove it with a hot towel. So I'm sure you guys are so excited because it's extraction time. So I have a little mirror here and actually let me go get my extractor. So let me just show you guys this cute little contraption that I have. So we actually have this at my work and it's so funny because I bought this like right after I graduated because I thought it was so cool. And then I went to my work and I'm like, oh my God, they actually use it here as well. So this is a little sterilizer tray. Um, pretty much the tools are in there. This like little tray comes out and you can fill it up with sterilization solution. So I have Barbicide with some water in here and all of my tools are sterilizing in there so that I know that I'm killing like the bacteria and everything. Um, so I'm going to be using that just a little pro tip there. So I want to let you guys know that I don't necessarily condone extractions at home. I would say to go to a professional because you can basically if you don't get everything out it can make it worse if you don't have sterilized tools or a cleansed proper properly cleansed face you can just break out again and you also can cause bruising to the skin so basically if you have to for some reason you just have a huge blackhead or whitehead or something that's really really bothering you make sure to use a nice hot towel to open up the pores you also want to make sure that your skin is lubricated during the extraction process so i'm going to go in with my toner again and this will make the skin nice and moist for me to extract so i have my guy here i have my tool and then i have just a little cotton round so that i can show you guys everything that i'm getting out so this is so questionable but here we go okay i think you guys can see me okay i have a lot built up in my nose i'm just gonna say okay so i do this like once a week to my nose and it still clogs up like crazy oh my gosh so that you guys can really see this is so disgusting So gross. Ugh. Okay, so this is madness. 
I wish it would focus, but pretty much that is a lot on there. Like, that's nasty. So after that, my skin is a little bit damp and I'm just going to go and I have like a little bit of some peach fuzz that I wanted to get rid of, so. I'm honestly like not really going in like super crazy today because I just extracted and I just wanted to get like the peach fuzz on my lips and I can always go back later and get more hair off if I want. If you want to see a more in-depth video on that, just let me know. So the next up is our Live and Be Well pink Himalayan salt mask so I am going to leave this on for about 10 minutes cute little brush and this is really going to calm and soothe my skin after those extractions as probiotics pink Himalayan salt and rose, which is really nice and hydrating. Sit for about 10 minutes. So after I've washed off the mask, this is a balancing probiotic serum. Probiotics really help balance out the microbiome of your skin. And there's also hyaluronic acid in this, which is super moisturizing. It helps the, um, the water really retain in your skin. And I love layering my serum, so I'm going to be using this Glimmer of Hope serum. And then I believe it's Turkish Rose. Yes, Turkish, Turkish Rose Oil. And it's really just gonna give like a really nice, pretty luminosity to my skin. I'm not going super, super in depth this time because I just wanna kinda give you guys the basics. But if you guys wanna know more about each individual step let me know basically serums are really highly active and concentrated with ingredients so that you're getting the most benefit and you always want to do it before you apply your moisturizer because the moisturizer is thicker and you always want to apply from thinnest to thickest i cannot get this open there we go so this is just some 24 karat gold eye serum you can use it other places too but then next up, I'm going to be using this skin smoothing cream from Dermalogica. I've been going in between like what moisturizer I want to buy because moisturizers can be very expensive. So I've been living off of some samples and then I'm just going to mix it with some SPF. I actually love mixing my moisturizer and SPF together um, because it's like a one and done and we're good to go. Okay, so from here is when I would usually do like my hair and my makeup. Um, your skin is all nice and prepped for your makeup. Whenever I find that my skin is, you know, nice and dewy and moisturized and I've cleansed the skin properly, my skin looks way better with the makeup. Like my makeup is popping, my makeup looks way better with the application because my skin is just happy and it's glowing and yes i am a little bit red but let me tell you uh, my skin feels amazing thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions comment down below make sure to subscribe to support my channel it means so much to me and i'll see you next time bye